today we are going to do the last part of the build that we've been working on in the Labyrinth of Joy. So let's go to the house. It's nighttime and we're back at the house. I have made a couple changes since I last showed you through. First of all, I added a driveway. And when you get up to the house, we now have like an area, sort of a front porch. I may put a fence around this to set it off. I'm not sure, but let's go inside. I have painted and added some furniture to the corridor on the first floor here and also finished this bedroom, which is basically the main bedroom for the adults in the house. Um, nice bed. I believe this is all packs on. I'm not sure. Uh, but we've got the bed. We've got the um, wardrobe which has lots and lots of room for furniture, uh, furniture, right, for clothing. And we've got a nice little desk, a uh, nice little cabin over here. That almost could be a TV cabinet, I think. And uh, a desk. And I'm not crazy about these curtains. And the reason I'm not is that when the game when i was first playing the game these curtains were light colored but they were curtains they weren't these sheer transparent i not that crazy about the shears in real life i like sheer curtains but i don't like these very much and um well that's it so i have also put um down the floor and the uh, wall tiles in the kitchen, they're called Iveniotti. The floor is brown and the walls are cream. It's very light. Now, all we need to do is add in some furniture. And I looked through some of the uh, kitchen appliances and I picked... Um, Novella, N-O-V-E-L-A, as the uh, design that I want to use in the kitchen. So let's, this is a lot easier. And what I like about these desi this design is, well, you'll see when we start putting it down. We'll start with a corner cabinet. And I want to make it dark brown. And I also checked out some of the tabletops. This, I, I happen to like this stone. It sort of fits with the uh, feeling that the walls and such give. So let's put that down. I, you know, I didn't think to look and see if there was a stove that went with all this. But there are stoves that we can use, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. What I particularly like about this set is these taller cabinets that come with it. That, for instance, this is an end cabinet, and again, we'll make it dark brown. And I guess pale oak is fine for the shelves. But see, now you can see this is the end. And then the center pieces are. I hate that this doesn't let me go back to what I had. Um, here's a middle cabinet.
It doesn't look the same. Because it didn't actually change, that's why. Now we need a very narrow one to fill in that space. What if there's a 30? Oh, that's the standalone. Wrong, wrong one. We want middle. Which would be that one, but I don't see a 30. It's either 25 or 50. And I think 50 is going to be too wide. But let's just see. Just in case I love it. Um, actually, I probably could adjust that and use it. And if not, well... Oh, that looks nice. Now, one of the things I like about this is that it reaches all the way up to the ceiling. So we can do hanging cabinets that also reach up to the ceiling, that have the top on them like that. Here we go. For example, this one. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble getting that to match up. Oh, wait a minute. Is this end? Oh, it's a standalone. I don't want the standalone. I want side standalone middle. Brown. Why? That's weird. Why won't it come out? Do I have to build a uh, lintel here? We're going to do one. I'll see if it'll make a difference. That's, that kind of sucks. Ruins the whole design here. The 
heck is wrong with it? That's just stupid. It breaks the whole line. Well, that's dumb. Oh, that stinks. It really stinks. Thought I had something good here. Yeah, I'm going to have to find something else to do with. And there doesn't seem to be a sink anyhow. I was so excited because I thought this was going to look really good, but they don't match up. I mean, what, what the hell is the point? This is stupid. Why would they stick out so, so much farther than the rest of it? It doesn't make sense. So I either have to get rid of that decide that it doesn't work. Now, well, I'll be back. Well, getting things to fit was not easy. None of the full height cabinets will uh, fit properly because they all stick out farther than the hanging cabinets. And it looks really bizarre so this is what i ended up with um this is also a novella refrigerator novella stove everything is novella the only thing i don't have in this kitchen is a sink which i just realized um yeah what do you need a sink for actually i think there may be a way around that i think in from the workshop there are sinks that are just the sink top um i don't know what it's called though Let's see if we can find it Okay, any surface sink. That's not too terrible. It's not what I would want in the kitchen. Maybe that one. We'll put it here. better than nothing and we have a sink now so let's put in an overhead light I hate to say it but I'm gonna go for my usual I've been using these all over this house Why not put a light switch on the wall? Okay, the last thing that we need to do in here is add a dining room table and some chairs and we want a fairly large one do we want to go that big that might be too big
but I'm going to stick with the brown oak we've been using. Oh, no, that's way too big. Nice, but way too big. We can go for 200, though. There's also a 250. 250 might even be too big, but let's try it. Well, what do you think? Uh, should we go smaller? What the heck? Be different. And what we will do is, yes, there's plenty of room to get through. Actually, we could move it back just a tad. Like that. We'll go for, well, it's Beskit. I seem to use them a lot. They have matching chairs, I believe. There, see, wooden chairs. So we can go for the same wood. One, two, do we have room for four? Yeah, I think we do. Three, four. So we've got plenty of room to seat people here. One, two, three, four. So that takes care of the kitchen. Just one major room to go and we will be done with the inside of the house. So why don't we? This is the last room we have to do. This is the living room. Not sure what we're going to put here. Oh, and I did not show you, and I don't want to forget. If you go upstairs, I did decide on something for the... Attic. It's a sort of a family entertainment center. We've got uh, the TV and a cabinet, a DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever you want to call it. And it looks kind of cozy and private. and I don't know. I like it. Strangely, it's still called a balcony. I guess because this is technically the top of the house and that's the roof. I, I have no idea why. Oh, a little lamp back here for some light. So now we need to go down and do the living room. And when we're all done with that, I'm going to do the garden. And then we'll tour everything and make our sale. So, oh, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, I put in a couple of uh, cabinets, one for coats and things, uh, a place to sit and take off your shoes when you come in, added a welcome mat and a, a coat rack there just for, I don't know, because I can. And so now I'm going to paint this room and then I will come back and we can decorate it together. We can put in the furniture and decorations together. And we're back. I have added an accent wall with a uh, stone and put a fireplace in front of it. The walls were painted with, I believe, burnt brick. And I put this carpet down, uh, I guess in a way, in a fit of nostalgia because my mom and dad had a carpet like this in their living room when I was a teenager. And now we just need to place some furniture in here. And I have chosen the uh, Inda sofa, sofa.
which I think is really nice. And with the red, I think the dark red would be absolutely wonderful. I've got that. We're going to put an ottoman in front of it to match. And we'll worry about the other furniture in a moment. But first I want to, I think they may end up being too big, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, see, well, that doesn't mean I can't put them there. Okay, and what else do we need? Anything? I think the uh, ottoman could go closer to the couch. Or should I have a coffee table? I think that'll do. And even look to see what wood, black wood. Okay, um, let's get some end tables. Living room tables. I'm getting boring, but I know what I want. I think I'm going to go for this. Oh, black wood. Yeah, might as well make it match. There's one. There's the other. Some lamps on those tables. <clears throat> Hopefully there's not a lot of background noise on this. Um, Kind of lost track of what was going on. So I'm thinking there are benches in this set. Tables. Well, there's like a couch. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I would like to put in some bookcases, though. That's the biggest one. We're going to go for black wood, like the wood on the couch and all. And where are we going to put it? This room is too small for things like this. Well, if I did a narrow one. I think I could actually do a hundred. No. Second thought, no. Okay, try 75. You know what? I'm not going to even try. Let's put some lights on that table. Want something simple. Actually, I sort of like these. Uh, 
Okay. Um, we need a painting for over the fireplace. Bigger than that. Let's go for that. I'll give it a black wood. Large. Oh, I could go extra large even. Yep, that's just about right. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Turn the fireplace on. <clears throat> All right. Um, maybe a couple little decorations on the mantelpiece. I'll go for vases. Hmm. That's kind of nice. A lot of these really make me happy. Nothing strikes joy. These aren't too terrible. Um, Why not? Something I just saw here that I'd like to put in the kitchen. It's really a coffee pop, and I like it. Oh, and I want this for the entryway. So what do you think? Warm and cozy enough? Do we need wall hanging? Yeah, maybe. Go to the wall lamps. Um, I don't know. These aren't all that exciting as far as I'm concerned. Some of them are too fancy. Some of them are too plain. Ironic, isn't it? Um, I mean, that's sort of nice. So maybe how about this? That's kind of old fashioned, but. I'll tell you, it's a pain in the neck to line things up. Okay, um, and maybe here. Give it a wall switch. Now, there's two ways we can go at this point. 
we can either stop here and sell the property and see what we get, or we can continue to mess around and try to find some more things to do. I think for sure the inside of the house is done. Um, maybe one more decorating pass. Other than that, I don't see much to do. This uh, is the only thing I put out in the yard. It's a, a laundry line. I suppose they ought to have a washing machine somewhere if they're going to have a laundry. But let me think about that stuff for a few. And I will return and show you the final. As you can see, I have done a few things in the garden yard. Um, there is now, there are now some plants in front. I'm, I'm really not expecting to get high marks on an American garden, but that's what I'm going to submit it for, for when we're done here. Got a swimming pool for the kids, a little one. Got a play, a treehouse sort of thing. And just for the fun of it, I planted some corn and some sunflowers. As you can see, we have a bumper crop. Over here, we've got a uh, hammock. And in here, we have some exercise equipment and a swimming pool with some lawn chairs outside, a couple of uh, umbrellas. Uh, over here, we have a uh, gazebo and I just for the fun of it put bamboo all around uh, inside the gazebo is a little table and chairs um, I forgot to mention the over here there is a barbecue grill and since they love it so much I added a pizza oven I don't know what the fascination is with pizza ovens and gardens but oh and here I think I showed this before but just in case a uh, laundry line a clothesline out in the yard so we can go in the house this is the kitchen uh, I really didn't add an awful lot just uh, this tea which I thought was cute and the matching and the teapot to go with it. Got a couple of vases out here. The hall has, uh, I may have shown these to you already, but it's just a wardrobe. But I figured it would be nice to have a place to hang your coats and things rather than just on the hook. We have a place to keep your umbrellas in rainy weather. We have uh, another coat rack just for, I guess, for guests. I don't know. I really like the way the living room turned out. Uh, it, It's cozy. It's warm. And I, I think the fireplace with the, with the wood back, back at wood, with the stone backing is quite attractive. I like these chairs. I don't know that in my own home I would choose to have bright red chairs, but somehow it fits here. Across the hall, we have an office space, which it still thinks is a storeroom. Um, 3D printer, thought that would be fun. That came from the workshop. A uh, couple pic a picture on the couple pictures on the wall, and through here is a bathroom. Just a shower, sink, and toilet. I don't know whether it would really be necessary to have a shower in the downstairs bathroom, but just in case, it's there. We got a computer and a monitor. It's a gaming computer, my favorite kind, mouse. For some reason, I am still enough of a kid to be fascinated by things that light up in bright colors. This is the 
uh, fourth bedroom, I can if if I imagined it in any particular way, I would think of this as the parents' bedroom. This also has a wardrobe. And we will continue to the upstairs now where we have four bedrooms. Well, let's start with this room. We've got a little table out in the hall, a little cabinet. Through the store is a bathroom. This is bathroom number one. I haven't really added much except that I added the um, plant and a picture on the wall. Added some overhead lights. And this is a photograph that I took of a, not my cat, my, my son's cat, but his name is Chancellor. And on the right, we have a red bedroom. And this picture too is something that I took. Well, actually I didn't take it because I'm in it. This was taken many years ago. Uh, back in the fall of 1999, uh, when I was working at Microsoft, this is Microsoft Way. If you look across at the across the street section there, that's where Visual Studio used to have their offices, Microsoft Visual Studio. And we actually lived about a mile or so up that road. Anyhow, bookcase, small bathroom. I rather like this bathroom because of the blue and white. And then continuing up the hall, we've got a children's bedroom. And, you know, it didn't really click. I, I looked at this little cute little I think it's a bull, uh, a lot, and it never registered with me that this was a corn maze, a maze, and uh, he's a bull, so minotaur, maybe? Anyway, he's cute. And we've got the bed and dresser, and this is all dinosaur-themed except for the Minotaur there. Uh, across the hall from this bedroom is another children's bedroom. This one is all in yellows. Got a little yellow ducky. We've got a uh, dresser here. Notice you can swap them for color. And I just like this room because it's bright and sunny. So... Let's continue. This is the last bedroom upstairs. This is uh, also a child's room. This was the one where we used the forest creatures and the uh, little play tent. I like this room too. This is a another wardrobe. So the last thing I want to show, well, actually, yeah, the last thing I want to show you, I love the view out this window. And actually, I hadn't really paid that much attention to it. Uh, I'm wondering if I should pick all those flowers and, and corn before I sell the property. I don't know if I showed you the upstairs here or not, but just in case I didn't. This is a little family room with a TV and a couch. And uh, this is actually the attic. It's not a floor. And as you can see, if you look, it's considered a balcony. So, okay. 
that is the end of this house. So I think the time has come to sell, 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 sell. By the way, I don't know if you noticed the driveway as we were coming up towards the house. Um, yeah, I really like the results. I probably will try this property again in the future. But I like what I ended up with. Let's find out what we can get for it, if anything. We're going to submit it as an American garden. Actually, we did remarkably well. I really didn't think it was going to be that good, simply because there's quite a bit of empty property where I have nothing. So that's good. In fact, it says I have a new record. So now that we've done that, let's put the house on auction and see what we get. Probably have close to $200,000 invested, but it looks like I'm getting some really good offers here. In fact, my profit, because of the garden competition, my profit is going to be close to half a million dollars for this property. So I guess it was worth the work, wasn't it? Shall I accept or should I ask for more? I guess it doesn't really matter. So let's give it a shot. We've got, I'm going to ask for another, oops. I'm going to ask for another uh, 3000 roughly. See what they say. And they accepted. So I made even closer to $500,000. And four cents. Don't forget those four cents. Cool. Well, that's it for today. And as you can see, when you look at the, you see the, the uh, maze was there and now it's gone. And so are we out of here. We'll see you again on Monday. Take care all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and please comment. I would love to hear what you think.